In this video, we'll take a look at the abilities of Thorax Hoppetes to take on Thorax Swords. A Thorax Swords, in terms of mid-tier swords, are a very underwhelming unit. Their melee attack is okay, but not stellar. Their weapon damage is only 34, but only 4 of that is armor, penetra armor penetrating damage. So something like the Libyan Infantry with their 6 armor penetration has 50% more armor penetration than the Thorax Swords and higher melee attack. They basically don't have a charge bonus, uh, their melee defense is okay-ish, armor is okay, health is good, morale isn't great. Now, where these hoppetes, in general, spear units do terribly against sword units. But thorax hoppetes have a niche, because they are mid-tier hoppetes that have 90 armor, 60 health, 65 base morale, they have a decent enough charge bonus, um, but more importantly, they have a decent melee attack together with uh, spears that do 30 damage and 8 armor penetration. So in this case, they're coming up against each other and they are using formation attack. Both units are using formation attack. Then it's going to take a significant time for both of these units to grind it out against each other. Because they both have good armor, they both have good melee defense and they don't have the best offensive stats. So you can see on the charge here. Uh, the Thorax Swords are winning ever so slightly, but it's it's not a uh, slaughter by any means. It gets worse the longer the engagement goes on for. And here, let's see what we're going to try here. I believe we're going to have formation attack off in this case. So formation attack on, less penetration in the unit, less man-made contact. Just lining up the unit so we make sure to get a good charge. And here you can see the Thorax Swords and Thorax Opetes are very evenly matched. Here we're charging in and activating Phalanx and Shield Wall at the same time, no formation attack. Just a quick note about Hoplite Wall, I've done a video about this earlier, but uh, Shield Wall is going to increase melee defense and armor. It's also going to increase bracing. Hoplite Wall is going to increase melee defense, not armor. Uh, but it's going to do something very interesting to the stats of these Thorax Hoplites that you are not able to see on the unit cards. So the, the Thorax Hoplites are going to get a 5 bonus against infantry. And that is the equivalent of getting a 5 extra armor penetration against these Thorax Swords. So with already having 8 armor penetration, it's going to give them 13 armor penetration, which is better than Axis against these Thorax Swords. The difference being that they have more health and armor than all of the Axe units in the game. Uh, well, currently Axemen have very good health, but they don't have 90 armor. They also have good melee defense. Now the Thorax Swords, they're only going to get a boost to their defensive stats, but in Phalanx, in a loose Phalanx like this, when uh, shield wall is when uh, formation attack is off these thorax hoplites are going to engage with a lot of thorax horsemen and that five da that five extra damage and five bonus to melee attack is going to help them a lot with that bonus these thorax hoplites have 35 weapon damage 13 of which is armor penetrating and they have 39 melee attack so this is not an attribute that is uh, tied to their spears. This is an attribute that is tied to their formation. So with this formation activated, these Thorax Hoppetes are actually superior in every single way to Thorax Swordsmen. Which is because Thorax Swordsmen suck. So you'll see the Thorax Swordsmen start to lose pretty decisively. Uh, this combat is still going on, but the Thorax Hoppetes are ex have extremely good morale, so they're going to continue to fight, and these Thorax Swords are basically combat ineffective at this point. Th 24 men, that is one cavalry charge or one infantry charge away from being off the field, so they sort of cancel each other out. But when using Shield Wall and Phalanx, the tables start to turn in favor of the Thorax Hoppetes. That 5 bonus takes them a long way and allows them to finish off the Thorax Swords with more than 50% of their unit remaining. So if you're going to go use Thorax Hoplites up against Thorax Swords, be aware that Thorax Hoplites in Phalanx, while using Phalanx instantly, will wreck Thorax Swords because of the 5 bonus against infantry they get when they use their, um, their Phalanx. So here we're charging in, again, fairly even stuff. And I believe the Thorax Swords are off 
formation attack and uh, the thorax the thorax hopper is off formation attack thorax swords are on formation attack so what this is going to do is it's going to allow less of the thorax operates to engage the thorax swords because they are focusing on keeping their formation so this is going to give the thorax operates less contact points than if both units charge with with um, formation attack uh, off so what this means is that the inferior unit is going to be able to grind it out for longer against this uh, against the unit that has the better charge values so this is a good way of using formation attack infantry when you are sort of outmatched um, on the charge at least and you want to go for the long haul because these thorax swords are going to be able to defeat uh, the thorax operates a bit easier than these guys did so here we have a charge and using uh, for ma having a mission for a formation attack on and this is of course hugely problematic as you can see then the formations contract like this uh, and if this was part of a battle line here then what would happen is that the phalanxes would contract and they would create openings for an enemy to push through so this is decidedly very very bad for for uh, for the hopitaes if you had skirmishers and you wanted to fire or you wanted to get cavalry through this could be used as a conscious tactic but if you don't have a plan for a follow-up this is not good for your battle line but the thorax operates are actually doing very well against the thorax swords when formation attack is on and both the units have their shield wall uh, their, their defensive ability if the thorax swords had formation attack off here they would be wrapping around and killing the operates but in a one-on-one -on -one engagement like this uh, Hoplite Wall is an amazing ability even with with the formation attack on. It allows the Thorax Hoplites to repeatedly deliver their 5 bonus and their armor penetration against the Thorax Swords. And it makes them makes them very good. The problem with most spear units, units and most Hoplite units is that they have low melee attack and their weapon damage isn't great. But that is balanced out by the fact that they do have the bonus not entirely balanced out but somewhat balanced out by the fact that they do have their bonus against um, infantry in hoplite phalanx so that is why you want to charge in and activate hoplite phalanx as quickly as possible because you want to have the bonus against infantry for as long as possible so that's um I think we have one more test to run, but I think the, the results sort of speak for themselves here. That Thorax Hoplites using Hoplite Phalanx are deadly against uh, Thorax Swords. And under equal circumstances, and that means both units using their abilities, the Thorax Swords, the th uh, Thorax Hoplites win in both instances. So they are, uh, they are decent enough against they're decent enough against uh, thorax swords this is more a testament to how ridiculously crappy thorax swords are because you'll see in uh, we'll try this against barbarian swords as well using the thorax opites against barbarian swords against the, the some of the worst barbarian mid-tier swords because what these thorax swords lack is weapon damage and a good charge bonus and that is what the barbarian factions have in abundance they also have a higher melee attack on average, which is somewhat going to help nullify the bonus against infantry that the Thorax Opites have. So using Phalanx and the Thorax Swords being out of formation attack, the Thorax Opites on the charge, they're going to murder the Thorax Swords and have more than half their unit remaining. So fairly convincing display by how effective it is to charge and then activate Phalanx compared to just charging in or and not using phalanx at all. So yes, indeed, in Hellenic matchups, Thorax Hoplites can actually be an effective unit to use against Thorax Swords. They are more resistant to missiles. The problem with them is that they lack precursors, but you can bring cheap units that have precursors uh, if you need to make up for that. But these units cost the exact same. Uh, the Thorax Swords are a bit more versatile with their precursors. But in a one-on-one -on -one engagement, uh, engagement, Thorax Hoplites can beast it out against Thorax Swords. Strength and Honor.